Welcome guys, now we will uh, start our new topic which is logic editor. So in this logic editor uh, we will be making uh, interlocking logics. Uh, so for example uh, in uh, our line figure which is a very simple figure having one isolator and one breaker only. Uh, breaker uh, could be operate uh, open or close irrespective of uh, isolator status. But if the isolator status is uh, uh, intermediate, in that case, the breaker should not operate. Similarly, the isolator should able to be operated only if the breaker is open. And if it is closed, the isolator should not operate. Or also, if the breaker status is not clear or intermediate, it should also not operate. So we will see how we can draw these interlocks uh, using Dixie 5, which will be really uh, so on the left side and the project tree you can see charts you have to click the chart and then you can see for the sub menu sub items so under charts there is already one uh, subgroup interlocks so uh, I have to tell you here that these interlocks are coming by as a default file in the relay uh, for double bus bar scheme so we have single bus bar here and single isolator so it will not go to work here so we have to delete this so I have clicked it now I will select yes to delete now I will add a new chart I have to click it here to add new chart to make a chart as per my requirement so once you click it you have to name the name of the chart so I will use an interlocking XY or interlocking my feeder name so this is the way it will work under select function task I will select interlocking now you can see the new uh, interlocking chart is open here you can see uh, on the right hand side you you can see all sort of signals available that can be used uh, for interlocking uh, chart we have uh, types library also here where you can select all logic gates and all the blocks flip-flop this everything is available that is that will be required to make CFC so let's uh, draw here the logic for the breaker the breaker could only be operated if the isolator position is valid and the breaker position is valid so it's uh, first of all we have to choose AND gate one for isolator, one for brick breaker. If both have valid position, then it should enable the operation of breaker. So I have just I have to drag or gets here to an and gate. Now uh, I will select first the inputs for the isolator. I have selected okay for the breaker. First of all, I will select, and I have selected open position. Drag and drop here and then close position drag and drop here and connect to x1 and x2 so if breaker is open it will be one here and output because it's over it will be connected here so if breaker is close it will be one here so output will be connected here if breaker is neither open nor close uh, no output is coming it's an intermediate position then there will be zero and breaker output is not one so you can't operate the breaker so this is how you are building the logics in the in the charts in the same way uh, I will now select open status of the uh, isolator disconnector and drop it to x1 and then close status so and then I have to just connect these two wires to x1 and x2 finally I will connect the output of this gate to I have to just drag enable closing and drop it to y so now what happened we should have a very clear status of isolator or breaker to operate the breaker itself so this is how you are uh, defining the logics uh, this is also super easy in the same way uh, you have to make uh, interlocks for the isolator so isolator can only be operate this is first input here if the breaker is in you can see open position just link it to x2 and or the isolator should have very clear status either it should be open if it is intermediate you can you should not able to operate the isolator and I have just connected it to enabling enabling open enabling close so this is this is uh, the way how it works here uh, one thing important that Dixie is doing the uh, 
this compilation of these gates from left to right so we have to assign the number uh, likely here you can see the numbers uh, we have random numbers here left to right should have be should have been one two three four five so you because as you have chosen the gates number are automatically assigned but we have to assign as per dixie requirement because these two gates first have to compile first because it's compiling from left to right but uh, what will happen as per this sequence it will compile this one first and then this which is which, will, which may uh, result in uh, error so you have to optimize and click optimize uh, here click optimize and it will automatically will be uh, will be uh, rearranged so just click here optimize and the situation will be fixed automatically just check here now numbers are assigned properly after this you have to compile the this cfc chart to check and look for errors you have to click here compile the chart okay and after that you will see that uh, there are no errors yes so uh, after compilation you in the downside you can see uh, it has uh, zero errors and zero warning so in this way this is a simple way you can make logics uh, it's really excellent way so i hope you enjoyed my lecture